Hello, and welcome to this guide for using the Ledger Nano S with the base app to store Eternity mainnet tokens. The Ledger hardware wallet is one of the most secure ways to store your cryptocurrency, so you'll rest easy at night knowing it's safe. The first step is to install Ledger Live, and if you're having problems doing that, or if it's not recognizing the Nano, uh, contact Ledger for their support. So first, log in to Ledger Live, and at this point, if it says to update the firmware, you may need to do that in order to install Eternity, and it's always recommended to update the firmware. So to install the app, go over to Manage on the left-hand menu. It's going to ask you to unlock your device. So you put in the PIN code, double check, double click on the check. And if you're not already on the dashboard, quit the app you're in and go to the dashboard. And the next step is to allow Ledger Manager on your device. So it'll ask you on the Ledger's display. Hit the check mark to confirm. And now it brings you to the app catalog. So search for AE Eternity. Should come up. Hit the install button. Now if you already have some apps installed, it may say there's not enough space on the Ledger. Unfortunately, it doesn't hold very many apps. So you, if you want to install an app to make room, search for that app, hit the trash icon, and you'll always be able to reinstall that app at a later time. You won't lose your crypto. So hopefully you get this successfully installed message, and you should see Eternity on the Ledger's dashboard. So now you can close out Ledger Live. Using the Chrome or the Brave browser, go to base.apps.com. So here on the landing screen, at the upper right, it will say connect to Ledger. So you go to the Eternity app, double click to open that, and now it's going to ask you to confirm your address for security purposes. So it'll be displaying your address on the computer, and it should also display the same address on the Ledger. So just double check that. If it's all good, hit the check. And now the ledger should say use wallet to view accounts. So now in the upper right, it should show your account and your balance. Uh, I have a few Pico AE, which is a smaller unit of measure than a full AE token. That's basically dust. So to get your address where you can send funds to, click the receive button. It'll bring up a QR code that you can scan to get your address and it will display the address. And you can also click copy address if you don't want to scan the QR code. So I've gone ahead and copied the address and I sent some AE tokens from the mobile base app in there. I sent 42. As you can see, it's no longer displaying the uh, Pico AE. It just uh, rounds. So to send a transaction, the send button at the top. And you can put in the address, you can paste it in there as I have done, or you can click the camera button that I circled and that will bring up a scanner from your uh, webcam and you can scan a QR code that way. And then below that you put the amount of AE to send, hit the transfer button when you're ready, and it asks you what fee you'd like to pay. Uh, the minimum fee is 0 .017 a Pico AE, so very small. You can raise that by sliding that uh, slider, but at this point the network isn't congested so your transaction will go through just fine at the minimum fee, but that could change. Now it's asking you to sign the transaction on the ledger. So the ledger will scroll through the address, the fee, the amount being sent, if you're happy with all that hit the check and then your transaction will send. As you can see, my balance has been decreased to 20. And I can now click on the Blockchain Explorer to see the full decimal places of my account as well as other things. And you can also click the Token Migration link to see how many tokens and check on your migration. And that is the old Ethereum ERC20 tokens migrating to the mainnet. So good luck and have a nice day.